everybody out, out in the garden today. Uh, I just picked the sugar baby watermelon and I've got another one on the vine there. I think they're both ready to go, but I've got two in the refrigerator. We're gonna have one tonight, so. Got some uh, rutabaga. That guy's ready to go. Another decent sized one. Icon. The uh, gladiolus. They do not like the uh, the heat at all. And uh, yeah, my wife loved them. I'm gonna probably water them guys tonight or tomorrow. Cleared out the the pumpkins. They got uh, they got hit by the uh, uh, the vine borers and stuff. A couple other bugs was in there. Got one watermelon going strong over there, but I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna produce fast enough. But tomatoes hanging in there. The amaranth. My wife just picked the, uh, to the tomatoes today. There'll be some more ripening in here pretty soon. Had uh, picked a few peppers earlier. She had uh, one of her clients wanted some peppers, so I picked her some. And uh, this one is Fresno. I picked a bunch of them for the the gal, her, her, uh, my wife's client earlier today. And I'm probably going to uh, do a uh, do a um, some kind of uh, giveaway. I've got um, probably for peppers. I mean, yeah, definitely for peppers. Uh, I've got a, a I've got TikTok, Instagram, and uh, and uh, uh, YouTube. So I don't know which one I'll, I'll do it off of uh, first. Um, there's a, a lemon spice jalapeno. This is triple variegated, beautiful little plant. And then this is Piazinho Amarillo. Little spicy peppers. I'd say it's a little hotter than a habanero. Good producer. I should have saved some of the peppers. I, I meant to save some of the peppers earlier that I gave away because uh, I don't know if uh, I don't know if a client really wanted that hot of a pepper, but uh, and then we got some. Santa Fe Grande. This is not a very hot pepper. I wait for them to get uh probably wait to well I might take a couple of them off there. I won't add those to any of the giveaways. I'll probably probably be doing a super hot giveaway this time and then got some pretty neat peppers coming on. Been pretty hot so i i'm surprised that as many flowers that made it the these ones did pretty good the fruits but i don't see i don't see another another crop coming on i don't know what happened to that guy kind of looks funky but then you got a, a chocolate habanero not quite there And then I had picked a bunch of these, but there's a ton of them in there. And this was a pepper that, uh, whoops. This is a pepper that crossed in my own garden and it's, it's well hotter than a habanero. Uh, it was supposed to be called, it was supposed to be jigsaw, but it's definitely not a jigsaw. J jigsaw is green, uh, so, but I had a, uh, 
I had a pretty hot pepper that was next to it last year that itself was sent to me and was a uh, was somebody else's cross that I liked, but it got they got big, so I don't know why it's that yeah, small. But. Yeah, I think I'll make a a small flat rate box, and then uh, we'll give some of these guys away. I think I'm gonna have enough. Uh, I got some other others over there producing really good. Yeah, these guys, I'm, I'm gonna have to start putting mine up next year, put them up in uh, tomato cages. Look at them guys there. Those are gonna be something crazy, huh? Uh, it says Jay's Peach Ghost, but that's definitely not a Jay's Peach Ghost. We'll see, I mean, that might be there, but it doesn't look like it. Could be though. I don't know what happened to my, I don't know if they need water. What happened to my, uh, um, sweet potato, sweet potato vines. My wife harvested them one time and she sold the, the, sold them to one of her old workers. And this is another, another one that crossed last year in my garden. That is, um, was supposed to be, um, was supposed to be uh, habanada, which is not hot habanero, which is my favorite, favorite uh, sweet pepper, but it crossed with uh, some kind of a, what we call the BBG or bubblegum variety, because it has the, uh, the colored calyx, so... But I'm gonna save some seeds for that. We'll I'll do, also do a, some seeds uh, swapping and uh, uh, do a, some. I'll do some uh, seed uh, a, a seed giveaway. Uh, I got a pretty pretty good amount of seeds saved from this year, but I've got a bunch of a bunch of seeds um, in my basement in my uh, in the catalog. Yeah, that's a really good producer, that one, and it's pretty warm. I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's quite as hot as a habanero, but it's pretty warm. Uh, a little bit of flowering, flowers left. Those are really pretty. I like those. Pretty cool for my wife. Oh, you guys need some water. So sweet bell pepper nice bell pepper but always got to be something wrong with yeah and it's i definitely need to put the put these guys up in a, a little pepper cage neat little clusters of flowers that's my uh that's that's my uh, uh, lima beans. So, and I'll probably grow a few more, and I'll start them earlier next year uh, because uh, I didn't really, I didn't really. I started them inside, and they didn't really do that great after I brought them outside. So, got some some uh, uh, tiger melon left. There's the autumn edamame. It's decimated. It's all they don't they don't flower again after they put up this. So. The neighbor, she's got some huge old tomatoes over there. Yeah. Some okra. Eggplants and different stuff. I'm gonna stop this at, at 10 minutes so I can put it on TikTok. So, and I'll start another video from here. <laughs> 